talked about before, you being a veteran just kind of comes naturally, you being a leader comes naturally. Do you feel that out here, especially today? Oh yeah, <laughs> the whole day, you know, I mean, we started at 8 a.m. this morning, you know, and it was, a, it was a great day, you know, a lot of, a lot of good conversations, a lot of, you know, bonding, you know, uh, seeing guys work, you know, uh, and just kind of really trying to find my place in, in, in amongst the team. And, um, you know, it just happens naturally. It feels like a glove, you know I mean? I love this job. It's the best job in the world. Happy to be here every day. And, uh, you know, just, it's an honor. When you signed here, you said you thought maybe you got 60% snaps. So, now that you've been with these guys for a few months, where do you feel like your role might be? Like, have you gotten that day yet? No, I mean, I think, uh, you know, right now it's just learning everything. And so I don't think uh, much changes, you know, until uh, we, you know, kind of get a lot closer see how things go, but I feel like it's, uh, you know, right now it's just, you know, I've only been here a few days. I, I didn't come the whole uh, OT period. And so, uh, you know, for the days I've been here, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm trying to learn the playbook as well as much as I can, you know, really bond with the guys, get understanding how the coaches want certain techniques played. You know, I've been around for a long time, so I've been in a lot of different ways, you know, and I can do it a lot of different ways. So it's kind of getting it on the same page on certain techniques. But the best, the best thing about all this is, though, is the way Coach Nielsen sees it is the same way I, I like to do it, which is like a, a really good feeling. Athletes with your resume talk about just getting that one percent better every year. For you, what's one percent look like? You know, uh, one percent is, uh, is it's a lot still. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, every single day you're working on something. You know, and you know, I mean, you know, I always like to you know kind of study myself in the off season to kind of see where I can get better. And uh, there's a lot of room for improvement in a lot of different places. You know, you kind of go back to other years. It's like I used to do that really good. Maybe I should go back to that. You know, I used to do this, uh, you know, a little bit better. So I mean, you know, bring back some drills and do different things. And one thing I like, love about Coach Nelson though is he's really, uh, he's really, uh, you know, uh, a stickler about the, the, the small details. And today, you know, working on a drill and I kind of did it and I felt good about it. But then he told me, you know, to do something a little different. I felt a whole lot better. I'm like, Phew, I like that. You know, and that's really good coaching. And he can see that and help me kind of just see it and feel it myself. You know, and being. You know, my 16th year, I mean, it's, you know, I, I didn't really expect that too often, but uh, that's a good feeling. Is that what you were referencing when you were saying that you and Ryan kind of see things the same way and kind of do, like to do things the same way, or is it something else? Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's exactly that kind of stuff, you know, like the techniques in playing the game, pass rushing, you know, in the run game, hand placement, feet work. I mean, there's a lot of nuances that go into the, you know, the deep line position. So, you know, but I mean, there are a lot of different ways you could do things. And I feel like, uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've played it a lot of different ways. Sometimes ways I feel like it wasn't really best for me just because, you know, you know, you want to get a customer once. And then, you know, kind of, you know as you, you know, evolve, you kind of put your own sprint on it and stuff. But, you know, I feel like, you know, uh, the way he's uh, coaching it, the way he sees it is the same way that I want to do it. So it's a kind of perfect fit. Art was telling us that David Aniata is a bad dude. Oh yeah. You want to you can, you can sense that in line oh yeah, yeah. No, he's tough. You know, he's tough as nails. You can definitely see. You know, uh, you know. I mean, he's one of those dudes that I feel like you know you don't want to get a fight with. You know, he, he's got he got some extra juice down there. You know, he just his strong hands, violent, explosive. You know, and he definitely uh, has that want to. You know, I'm glad he's on my team. Obviously, you've done this for a long time. You're talking about how you know how you like to do things. Um, and I thought it was interesting that you brought up the point about Ryan Nielsen and how he gave you something and you said, okay, that feels good. How often do you get that at this point in your career from a coach? Yeah, I mean, it's here and there. It does happen, but. Uh, you know, not usually a mini camp, so that's yeah. a really good feeling, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, he's just a great coach. That goes, it's a testament that the, the small details that he puts into the, you know, setting tape and understanding the game. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, he's had a lot of success, you know, in, in his ability and coaching really, really good players, you know, getting the best out of them. So, you know, I mean, I, I think he's going to be great for all of us as a whole, especially these young guys coming up. I mean, he's a phenomenal coach. And so is Coach Hustable. What did you do this year to kind of try and – maybe keep yourself fresh or get, get yourself to a point where you felt like? You know, Honestly, nothing different. You know, I've been doing the same thing for, you know, a couple years now. I, I just feel like at this, at this at this point in my career, I mean, it got me this far. I just, just try to continue just doing the same thing and just trying to get trying to get better each and every day. When you that you see them draft Bijan and obviously have Tyler as well, what goes through your head as somebody who, like you said, is, is older than a lot of these other guys at a position that you're still fairly new in overall? Mm -hmm. Honestly, man, it's it's good. You know, I talked to Dijon. You know, it's great. he's a great player. I've been you know, watching practice every day, just seeing him, the things he's doing out there, him and Tyler, man, and it's great. It's gonna it's gonna be a fun year, man. It's gonna be fun, and you know, I'm I'm glad we got him. You know, he, he just bring that much to this offense. You know, we went to draft him. We didn't need him at the position, so you know, we got him. And he he's gonna do great for us. Do you think it changes maybe how you get used? It don't change anything, man. It, it don't change anything. I, like I said earlier, man, the way I train and everything all season is the same. It, just, it don't affect me. It don't matter if they could have drafted somebody in the first overall pick. You know, it's the same. My mindset's still the same. Well, I guess what I was getting at was even Arthur said today, like, you know, how you were used in 21 was different than how you are being used in 22. And you and I talked about that a little bit toward the end of last year. So I was just wondering if you felt like 
you an ideal way of how you wanted to be used this year? Honestly, I would, I would love to get used like I did in 21. You know, last year, you know, uh, we had an injury at running back, so I had to step up at running back and play a lot of running back. I got hurt, Tyler stepped up, you know, him and Caleb, Avery, and all those guys. So it's like, it's the next man up in talent around here. So, you know, when your number's called, you just got to go out there and make a play. A little while ago, you said this was going to be a really fun year on <laughs> offense. What makes you think that? Honestly, just, just looking at film, you know, just watching those guys and you see how much fun they having out there and competing they doing is it's awesome man so i couldn't wait to get out there today and just just have fun with those guys man and just just trying to bring the energy to the team how good did it feel to get out there today? i felt good you know i felt a little old today but not too old as you know some players on the team but you know I, I, it was good though just see everybody you know see all the coaches you know and some of the fans we had out there today it was great anyone in particular make you feel old today <laughs> I don't want to say no names. You know, not, not on the first day. I can't. Okay, okay. I, I can't. I can't get the trouble on the first day. <laughs> are you uh, CP running back slash de facto general manager? The way you recruit everybody in the league to come to the Falcons. Who? That wasn't me. No. No, no, no. no. I think somebody be hacking my Twitter when all that stuff go on. And, you know, I, I try to stop them, but you know, they they lock me out of the Twitter and they go in and recruiting all these players. And I'm like, man, okay, just do what you do. Yeah. Coach do what you said do. you'd be amazing GM if you had an unlimited budget. Same. <laughs> Tell them to hire me. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> you like what this team is building, though, on the series front? Honestly, man, like I said earlier, you know, watching film, though, just seeing offense and the defense, the way they flying around out there, man, it's, it's good to watch. You know, as an older guy, you sit back, you know, ain't, ain't got to get beat up too many plays, you know. Drafted Bijan, you know, got Tyler. You know, got a lot of young guys on the team. Everybody just competing, you know, just excited. It will be hard to find a hole going through your uh, defensive line and practice and big dudes on the <laughs> line right now. Most definitely, man. And, the things that uh, the things they doing on defense right now is amazing, man, and showing us all these different kind of looks and and whatnot. So I'm excited, you know, just as offense, I'm excited for the defense. This is a really broad question, but at this point in your career, what's the most important thing for you? Woo! God, honestly, just just trying to. <laughs> I'm just trying to get another kick return. You know, <laughs> they to change some rules and whatnot, but. You know, Marquise, we talk, you know, that, that don't affect us at all. So we, we still going to be aggressive, you know, and I'm just trying to just trying to get another kick return. So lobbying for yourself to be involved in special teams. Of really course, you know, and, you know, if they need me to play gunner, you know, whatever they need to do, a long snap, you know, punt. I just told BP out there, if you need to take a break on the play, I can punt the ball. So just just the more you can do out here. What's your biggest piece of advice to a guy like Bijan getting drafted as high as he was as a running back? Obviously, there's pressure, but what do you tell him? Honestly, it's it's not much you can tell a guy like that. He's so humble in his religion and faith. It's just to the roof, man. And, you know, just a guy like that coming in and not being nervous, you know, and coming in and see all these new faces. But he didn't, he adapted well. You know, he, he didn't learn the playbook so quick. You know, it took me a while, you know, as a rookie, you know, he's just trying to learn everything. But it seemed like he came in a couple of days and learned the playbook just that quick. And, you know, as y'all can see, you know, he, he's out there everywhere. You know, it's not one spot he cannot play on this field. So I'm excited to see that man. You go do everything he's supposed to do. Being a first round pick, like, does that come with expectations? Does that take a while to kind of get used to in terms of people are always watching everything that you do? Honestly, man, it, is, it does come with expectations, but it's what you make of it. You know, you, you're doing what you're supposed to do, you know, and I mean, you, no matter what round you get in, you know, every player, they, they feel like they have a, a lot of. A lot of things they should do on that football field and, and whatnot. And I know Bijan, he's, he's going to do great for us for a lot of years. I know, obviously, you know, going into year three and, you know, okay. in terms of just like building back health wise, that's a big part of it. But Arthur was saying a little bit about how, you know, physical attributes is one thing, but getting back the mental reps of feeling comfortable again, where do you feel like you are in that regard? And, and how excited are you kind of to get to training camp and put the pads on and kind of get back in the swing of things? Um, at first, uh, I kind of felt, you know, kind of was missing out, yeah. you know. Uh, I just was inside rehabbing the whole time, you know, while the guys were out here practicing, putting in work. So when I finally got to touch the field, I felt like, you know, it's been a long time coming. Uh, it, might, it may have took me a couple of days to get back into the swing all the way, but I definitely feel confident mentally going out, out here on the field and, uh, you know, competing with my teammates. When you talked about what who? Oh, Bud, just, you know, just from a get off standpoint, like all the little technique details on the field, as well as just how you carry yourself, you know, in the locker room, how you treat teammates. 
you know, pretty much everything all around. I, I got to watch my language when I t talk about how Arthur Smith described you. Yeah. He basically, he cleaned it up and says you're a bad dude. I'm on. In a good way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you, when your head coach says, you know, it's better to get him away from the vision so you yeah. don't have to face that, what no. does that mean to you? Uh, it's, uh, it's a great compliment, you know, but uh, the biggest thing is just coming here and, uh, you know, just proving that too. Yeah, that's 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 a big thing because last year is last year. You just got to keep – every year is a new season. It's a new year. You got to uh, go out there and show the things you've been showing and improve on certain things as well. So I take that as a, as a, as a, really, uh, as a really big compliment. Yeah, yeah. When, he, when he talked to his players and said, yeah. like, who are the toughest guys out there, yeah. guys that you don't want to face mm -hmm. every Sunday, your name kept on coming yeah. up. So let's go get them. Yeah. So they did that. Yes, sir. And now your teammates with the guys that didn't want to face you. Yes, sir. Does that kind of give you a, you know, a sense of pride, leadership with this team? Definitely. Uh, just coming out here and – Getting, 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 getting the feel for it, getting out there with Grady as well. You know, that's that's probably one of the biggest things because the sky, the sky's the limit. You know, with with, with, uh, with, with this combination. So, uh, you know, it's 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 a great feeling. Yeah. You mentioned your relationship with Grady yeah. and how it's growing. You guys yeah. are bonded, having that culture together. Yeah. What, what what clicked? When did it click? And uh, how things evolved between uh, two of you? It's just from from my point of view, I've been I, I, I've known about Grady for the longest time. Especially like you, you have a player who had three sacks in the Super Bowl. Like that's that's uh, that's that's one of the greatest accomplishments for uh, D tackle as well. But. Uh, Know what kind of player he is, know what kind of what kind of respect he commands out there, and seeing you know just being able to complement that as well, and uh, you know have I was go out there and make plays. Yeah. And Calais is a big dude. Hell, he's a, he won't even mess with you. Yeah, Calais is he's massive. He's what he's probably seven foot tall, probably. <laughs> yeah. So, nah, he's a great. That's he's a great guy. He's been doing this for so long. The, the, the great thing about about being in this uh, D line room is uh, getting the opportunity to learn from. Him. To learn from certain guys, because you, you you can, I feel like in this league you could you could always learn something or two. If it's from someone who's been here a year old, uh, longer than you, or probably a month longer than you, but uh, I feel in this business you could you could you could work on improving every every day. Yeah. You talk about there being you know a bunch of different things to learn from a bunch of different yeah. guys. I mean, when it comes to this, Arthur Smith was talking about this, and he goes, "This is such a deep." front yeah. in terms of just like defensive line in general how do you think that even right now I know y'all aren't going 110 yeah. percent but how do you feel like that depth can really play into kind of even early and and learning what y'all need to do together all uh, right so the big thing is just learning the scheme but then it's it's the rotation the rotation is one of the greatest thing like we just want to keep it at the same at the same level or or, or going or going or going up because uh you don't it's it's a next man down business you know so just that being the case, someone else goes in, you got to still play on the same level, and that should be the expectation for uh, for us up front. This franchise has had uh, a few rough years, mm -hmm. uh, not finishing above you know 500, getting to the yeah. playoffs. Why should fans be excited about this 2023 season? We, we've got something great going on here. Uh, in the in the locker room, in the team meetings, it's, it's, it's a great atmosphere, and you can tell guys are, guys are catching on to the scheme and running with it. And, uh, you know, I can't, I can't wait for training camp, to be honest, so we could actually go 100 miles an hour and get and get things actually get the right fits the perfect fits and uh and, and get that going but i feel it'll be it'll be something great to get you know to to jump on right now before it's too late yeah bud was saying just in general about how you know there are so many new faces yeah. around this team you being one of them but he said that grady has done a really good job of kind of taking this front under his wing a yeah. little bit how do you see him doing that this is his group this is Grady's group, you know. We're just, you know, we, we we're all here to uh, complement each other out there, and uh, in the main room, on the field, everything. Like this is this is his group. Yeah. What was your perception of this team from afar, from the, from the division? Ah, uh, just being being on the being on the other side. I I look at it as I I really don't care about all the other things. I look at it as the next game. Josh at least seemed like he was. Everywhere a little bit. I mean, is there is some sort of chemistry with you guys? Because again, he was a rookie and you were working scout team with him for so long. Yeah, there's definitely you know the, any of those times you have you know guys that you're together you know through a long period of time. Whether it's his rookie year in general, or like you mentioned, you go through rookie year, but you also go through um, scout team, and so you start to build a relationship and a connection with those guys. So I would definitely say you know me and Josh definitely have a connection. You know, it definitely started early on when you know him just playing at Kentucky, being from Big Blue Nation, me giving him crap about all that. Uh, but no, you know, he's a, he's a great player for us. What part of the game, if any, has slowed down? 
Yeah, um, you know, obviously we haven't played a, a snap of real life football, or let, let alone even close to, you know, a live snap. So, uh, you know, we're just going through, uh, you know, everything that we can do to, to get better every single day. Uh, but for us, obviously, you know, you won't feel those real bullets until the first game. Is there an anticipation for you to get some, some reps, some on-field reps with, with Kyle Pitts? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm um, excited for him to get back, excited to get into this offseason and kind of work with him, you know, get to him on a one-on-one -on -one level. Um, and, and it's just going to be fun. Have you all made plans at this point? Like, are you going to do that in June or July? Or? Yeah, we made plans. I haven't got all the way around to everyone yet, but, you know, a lot of us I don't think are going too far, so be able to get some work in. Have you seen him at all? Have you talked with him much about kind of what this might look like? Because you still have to run a pass to him and at least – at all, right? Yeah, I mean, other than, you know, whether it may be uh, Thursday or Friday throughout the week, uh, you know, he's on his own plan, and then, you know, once he's ready to go and he gets uh, the, the green light, you know, we're all game to go. Are you curious to see what this will all look like? Because when you were when you were starting last year, you know, I mean, CP was coming off of injury, and Kyle wasn't playing. Like, is there some level to you of wondering what this might look like to get the full complement? Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone, you know, wonders what it looks like from me, you, to everyone outside. Uh, but for us, it's really about just coming out here, you know, putting the best product on film, uh, however that may be, but just trying to come out here and get better every day. What excites you about this team the most? One more time. What excites you about this team the most? Uh, just, just knowing that, you know, that we have the fight that the team has had in the past, but just knowing uh, that, you know, we have the players to go out there and be something great. Um, all we have to do is put in the work every single day to go in and get better, 1% uh, better every single day. For you, what's that 1% look like? For me, it's, you know, whether it's leadership or whether it's mentally or physically, you know, whether it's in my drop or uh, making sure that I got the game plan, you know, 100% down, whether it's not messing up in the huddle um, at the line of scrimmage with checks, whatever it may be, just coming out here trying to be as clean as we can. As Bijan continues to get brought along, obviously this is a ramp up period for everyone, but what's been impressive to you about him? Yeah, obviously just his size, just what he's able to do with the ball and what he's able to do without the ball. Um, just seeing his pure athleticism going out there and being able to make plays. Like we said earlier, we haven't, you know, gone 11 on 11, 100 percent full speed uh, with pads. So, you know, everyone, you know, changes a little bit once those pads come on. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, what happens once we get in the camp preseason, how it goes. You mentioned size. Does it look where Clay is on the defensive line, kind of throw over that dude? It seems a little uh, intimidating out there. Yeah, no, he was, uh, he, he was definitely a lot more intimidating last year when he was on the, the Ravens, you know, and I was going against him in the freezing cold. Uh, but no, Cleus is a great guy, a great leader for us. Um, just one of those guys that's in the locker room, has been here for a while. Um, he's going to come out and work every single day. He's one of those guys that when they speak, everybody listens? Oh, 100%, 100%. Who have you noticed really brought along a veteran presence early so far? I'll say Matt Collins, um, you know, in that wide receiver room, it's, it's a lot of young guys, and Matt has done a great job of stepping up, uh, taking those guys under, you know, whether it's in the weight room, whether it's in the film room, whatever it may be, he's one of those first guys to, you know, kind of be vocal about it and be able to go in and get everyone going and make sure that everyone's working hard and, and you know, not doing just the stuff to get by, um, rather to make everyone better. And so many new pieces, where do you feel like the chemistry is at this point in the year? Uh, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, it's just on a steady incline. Um, and that's where we want it, you know, we just want to keep going every single day. Obviously, we got two more mini camp practices um, and then we go on a break in which, you know, like we said, we hope we can get, you know, a lot of one on one time with guys and, and guys spending time together. Uh, you know, that's one thing that we talk about as a team is, you know, when we're not here, uh, try to spend as much time as we can with the guys off the field, because if we can spend time and create a culture off the field, uh, then we can create it on the field. I know you've done that uh, really last year. You did it, too. But is that something you take upon yourself to kind of organize things like that when you have time off? I would definitely say I'm the organizer, but I'll definitely say, you know, I'm pushing to get it going. Uh, you know, this past weekend had a, you know, a couple of guys, we ran a couple of boats and went out on Lake Lanier, uh, you know, anywhere from wide receivers to linebackers to running backs. So just having a whole bunch of guys just being able to get together, bringing their families together um, and enjoying time away from football, you know, is what we feel is going to bring us closer. What do you think about some of the changes you've seen? On the, I know you're focused on the offense, but what, the, the, what y'all done defensively, you know, that, that could help uh, everybody on all, both sides of the line, but some of the moves y'all made. Yeah, obviously, you know, for, for an offense to be successful, it obviously needs a good defense and a good special teams. And obviously, you know, we, we like what we see from our defense coming out of camp, coming out of OTAs, uh, you know, the physical, aggressive. Um, and that's what we want. You know, that's, that's what, you know, we like to see is, is, you know, sitting over there on the bench and, you know, you want to see those other teams struggling. So I think our defense is going to do a great job of that.
I know all of this is really important and that the ramp up period is incredibly important, but when you look ahead to July, how antsy are you to watch this team go full go? Yeah, I mean, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, um, you know, I'm thrilled to be able to be a part of this, uh, you know, this team, this organization, uh, and obviously to be able to get out there and go full speed and, uh, and get in full pads. You know, it's going to be one thing going against each other, but then obviously it's another thing going in preseason, being able to go up against another team, and you know, not me necessarily, but maybe the others be able to go out there and hit some people. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Thank y'all. Have a good one. Oh, sorry. Uh, Amanyata was telling us just about the relationship, about you guys have clicked from the jump. But what, what about him that you like playing with? And yeah. you know, what, what about him? I think it's just a mutual respect over the years. You know, he, we've been playing each other for a long time, you know. So uh, to be able to have the opportunity to play, play with each other is just, we're just both, you know, really um, happy about it. And uh, we met over the, over the years, you know, just through, through mutual friends and respect. But to be able to bring it together, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm excited for this year. Coach was talking about his habits. Uh, he does it the right way. You see that from the jump from the moment yeah. he got here? Yeah, without a doubt, man. I got to bring to work every day. and uh, But you don't get to be the player that he is without doing that. You know what I'm saying? So definitely not surprised and glad that we could. We, we definitely need that kind of work, work ethic day in and day out to this team. How do you build the chemistry so early with so many new pieces on this team? I think it's been a time together, you know, out here like in OTAs and, you know, trying to do stuff off the field together. But um, just being present, I think it's the most important. And um, it says a lot to have a lot of vet guys. Well, it's mandatory minicamp now, so you better be here. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but uh, during the OTA period, to have a lot of guys be able to spend time together, having a lot of new players, new coaches. So that time together is important. Obviously, this is a ramp up period, and there's not a really large measuring stick for you guys right now. But what excites you about the defense and where you guys are? I mean, just, just I mean, it's just an exciting time. You know, new pieces, new scheme. Um, it's just, uh, you know, whenever you get new, it's like it's fresh, you know? So so whenever you got something fresh and just give you that, that extra uh, jump, extra boost, and, but I'm excited to see it all come to, come to, you know, fruition, like during training camp, you know, preseason, regular season when we dominate. So I'm excited for everything that's to come. Can you get a sense of how good this defense can be right now, or do you have to wait until the pads are and the bullets are flying? Man, you always got to wait, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can be, anybody can be preseason all-stars, you know, preseason, whatever it may be. And uh, with us, I mean, with us being who we are, you know, nobody going to crown us anything. So we got to go put the work in day in and day out, take it day by day. But I'm confident in the work that we're putting in that's going to put out a good product. Obviously, at this point in, the, in your career, it's not like you feel a lot of fresh and new things all the time. So how good is it to feel that right now? I mean, I, I mean every year is new. You know, for me, every year is new. Every year is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? I always say, you know, no matter how long you sign a deal, something like that, every year in the NFL, man, it's a new year. You know what I'm saying? Every year it's like a one-year one year contract. You know, whatever you do in the past, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So you got to treat it with fresh, give it the right respect every year, you know, and uh, go back to work, go back to the drawing board, find out the things you can get better at. So for me, I'm super excited to be where I'm at, taking the things that I learned, but also to hone it in and be better, you know, and try to find ways in my game where I can improve. And um, I still feel like my best football is ahead of me. I'm just reaching, reaching for that every day. How can Calais's presence help? this defense overall? I think, you know, just one, I mean, just uh, his mass and size, the experience that he has, the skill level that he has. Um, the